Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Sarah. Sorry for the delay in videos, but I was busy over the holidays, you know. Uh, so this is the next video in the series. You don't have to watch this video if you don't want to, but this is uh, showing you how to install Gary's Mod dedicated server on your computer so that you can uh, properly make add-ons for multiplayer that'll work properly because listen servers on Gary's Mod aren't that good. So first you're going to have to locate where you downloaded and installed Steam CMD at and then launch steamcmd.exe. It'll check for updates real quick. Now this controller stuff is just showing me because I have my Steam controller plugged into my computer right now. You can just ignore that and hit enter. Then you have to do login anonymous. It'll connect you to the Steam community anonymously. And then you can do force underscore install underscore dir. And then you can set your directory. So I'm going to do f slash servers slash gmod slash and then set that and then do app underscore update 4020 now the uh, app id 4020 is for the gary's mod dedicated server so once you do that just hit enter and it'll start downloading gary's mod dedicated server onto your computer and it'll take a while depending on your internet connection and i'll pick up on this video once it's finished downloading Okay, once SRCDS is done installing, you can go ahead and close Steam CMD and then navigate to where your Gary's Mod is installed at. Now, you can either run SRCDS.exe or you can download the serverstart.batch file that I have linked in the description. Now, when you run this, you can edit this and then change the affinity. You're going to have to change the location of where your Gary's Mod is at. Change the max players, the map, the game mode, all that stuff, whatever you want to do. And then save that and close that and then run server start.batch. You'll see it'll start source dedicated server. It'll start loading your game. There we go, that's all good. Go to Steam, run Gary's Mod. Now you're gonna have to take note of this IP and then the public IP that you want. So if the network IP doesn't work, then you're going to want to connect to the public IP. So I'm going to drag this down here so we can see it in here. So click options so that you can access the console. Click or type connect 75.54.24.30 colon 27016. And if you can't connect that way, then what you're going to have to do is click cancel and then type your private IP, the network IP that is included. So type 192.168.1.70 and you'll see it'll start connecting you to the server. Client Sarah's connected, it'll show my IP or my public IP. And in order to get the public IP working, you have to do some port forwarding on your router. Now, I won't go into depth on how to do that, but you can find a list of all the ports you need to forward on various websites and stuff. So once you're loaded into the server, you'll see we have everything going on. It's basically just a normal Gary's Mod server. You can do anything you want. And you'll, you're going to have to configure this to suit your needs however you want, but since it's technically a development server just for you, you can do whatever you want with it. So once you have this, you can actually start coding your own add-ons by uh, modifying stuff in the Lua folder, the game modes folder, stuff like that. And you can even start installing add-ons and using workshop collections on your server. So once you have everything in here set up and ready to go, then we can go on to the next video where I'll actually show you how to start making weapons and stuff. 